Director Eric von Strohen has a larger than life reputation to this day due to his multiple clashes with studios about budget and artistic freedom and even his tense relationships with some actors. But this film, being one of his biggest successes, both financially and among audiences, proved that Strohe could also excel in more mainstream films with well-established actors. An entertaining musical starring the heartthrob John Gilbert at the height of his fame and delivering a fine passionate performance. And Bay Murray, an actress with good comedy skills who got to have a good comedy timing for this film. This film had a careful production by MGM, one of most prestigious Hollywood studios of the era. The scenery is grandiose and the pace is quite relaxed, almost a fairy tale. The director takes time to introduce the characters. There is clever use of visuals and images, as Strohe is almost literary when it comes to attention to details of the plot. John Gilbert plays Prince Danilo Petrovich, a womanizer. May Murray is Sally O'Hara, a dancer. Crown Prince Mirko and Baron Sadoja are attracted to her as well as Danilo. Sally chooses Danilo and both fall in love with each other and he wants to marry her. However, King Nikita forbade Danilo to marry Sally because she was a plebeian and a dancer. Therefore, Danilo ended up leaving Sally at the altar because he couldn't bear the pressure of his family. After such disappointment, Sally accepted to marry older Baron Sadoja, who conveniently passed away in the wedding night. Sally inherited Sadoja's estate as well as the title of Baroness. One year later, both Danilo and Sally meet in Paris. They both start dancing in the ballroom and talk about the past. The point is that Crown Prince Mirko was also in Paris and it became clear to Sally that Mirko showed interest in her only because of her money and she suspected that Danilo's affection for her wasn't sincere either. Danilo challenged Mirko for a duo, even though Sally begged him to give up the idea. It seemed Danilo had died in the duo, but he only got wounded. Meanwhile, King Nikita passed away and Mirko inherited the throne, but he was assassinated right afterwards. The second in the succession line was Danilo, who became king and got the freedom to finally marry Sally, which he did without hesitation.